Welcome to this episode of the 2022 to 2023 season of Sycamore Junior High School Daily Video Announcements. Today is Back to the Future Tuesday, September 27th. I'm Sarah. And hi, I'm Maddie. Let's all stand, place our hand over our heart, and honor our awesome country as we all say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, and please be seated. You all are looking pretty spiffy wearing your throwback outfits for Back to the Future Spirit Tuesday. Can't wait to see what tomorrow's or Wednesday's favorite band slash artist gear everyone will be wearing. Are you going for a favorite band look or a favorite artist look? I think I'm going for my favorite band look. That's what's up. I think I'm, go I'm wearing my favorite artist shirt. I still have to decide. Alrighty, now only three more days until the first class ticket shop and the special pizza lunch raffle opportunity. Make sure to collect your first class tickets and take them to lunch this Friday. Yes, Rack up on I definitely plan on doing that. Hey, today is the day where we support our volleyball teams at 4.30 p.m. in the junior high gym yeah. towards a victory. And tomorrow, Wednesday, September 28th, let's plan to support our junior high football team at the at 4 4.30 p.m. in the Junior High Stadium. Hope to see you there. Yes, go Sycamore and plan the rest of Spirit Week to wear. Again, tomorrow, favorite band slash artist wear. Thursday is Jersey Day for the Cincinnati Bengals. Thursday, home night game. Friday is Friday Night Lights High School homecoming game where we all wear our green and gold Sycamore gear. Go Aviators! Remember, no masks, no hats, and only school safe appropriate outfits. I plan to keep showing spirit this week, as well as make sure I keep up with my very important schoolwork. Let's all continue to study and do our work. A good motto is, hard work pays off, period. Work helps us learn. Speaking of work, are you interested in joining student council? Meetings take place after school twice a month to plan pep rallies, help organize fundraisers, and more. If you're interested, please pick up an informational packet in Ms. Manning's office located right by the nurse's office by the end of the week. Mark your calendars. Picture retake day coming up next Tuesday, October 4th. Staff pictures begin at 7 a.m. Plan your retake outfits now if you didn't like your first photo or missed the first picture day. Again, retakes are October 4th. Over to Mr. Harris with the week's student and athletes of the week. Good afternoon, everybody. It gives me great pleasure to do this week's Athletes of the Week. So our first Athlete of the Week is Sharon Matthew. Sharon, come on over here. All right, Sharon is the Athlete of the Week, and she plays second singles on the green tennis team. Um, she has risen to the occasion, improving her tennis game to play singles after being very new to the sport. She gives her best efforts during practices and gives tough matches and does not does not let tough opponents with more experience bring her down. <coughs> Excuse me. She demonstrates great determination to fight for every point and not give up on a match. And she is working hard to improve her game. So your coaches are very proud. So congratulations. Thank you. There you go. There's your write-up and your certificate. I gave it to you. All right. Jamel, come on over here. Jamel Abdel Jabbar is our eighth grade from our eighth grade football team. Um, every day in practice, this is from his write up. This is the write up from his coach. Um, every day in practice, he pushes himself to the limit to make himself a the best football player he can be. He coaches love to coach him because what he does whatever the coaches ask to make his team better. After every practice, he says thank you to all his coaches and find out what he needs to work on. Okay. And he takes that advice and works on it in his game. So he's an outstanding young man and a great teammate. So congratulations to Jamel. All right, congratulations. Thank you. All right, you're welcome. There's your write-up and your certificate. Yeah, very good. Nice job. All right, our next athlete of the week is Allie Morrison. And Allie is from our seventh grade cheer program. Um, Allie is a true leader of our team. She has been cheering since Little A's youth program, and we're very lucky to have her on our squad. She's always helping her fellow teammates with the sidelines and our halftime show, and she's always the first one to step up and help out and demonstrate a move if needed. She has helpful critiques and words of encouragement and is an absolute asset to our team. All right, she has definitely earned student, uh, excuse me, athlete of the week, and we look forward to seeing her grow as the season progresses. So, Allie Morrison, there is your certificate. Thank you. And there's your write-up. You're very welcome, honey. Thank you. All right. And last but not least, a very familiar face to me, 
It's a sales. Another one. This is Serena. And Serena, you are, you play second singles on the gold team. So you were nominated by your coach of the gold tennis team. She doesn't give up during a match if she's losing, but said challenges herself to play even harder. She demonstrates an astute athletic ability paired with motivation and tremendous sportsmanship. She continuously puts forth her best effort and is always very kind and respectful to her teammates, coaches, and opponents. Serena's integrity and big heart proves to be a phenomenal model for her peers and to what all athletes should aspire. That's some cool stuff there, Serena. Very nice. So here's your certificate, and there's your write-up. Congratulations, dear. Lainey Tilden. Lainey, come on over. And Lainey, you're from the eighth grade gold volleyball team, right? Yes. All right, so this is her write-up. This week she helped bring us back from point deficits for her aggressive serving runs. That sounds, you know, really dramatic there. Lainey's a team player and is always willing to do what's best for her teammates and for the win. Whether it's changing positions on a moment's notice, laying out for a ball, bringing energy to her team, Lainey can always be on, counted on to do so and do it with passion, passion, drive, and a smile. Congratulations, Lainey. So there is your write-up and there's your certificate. All right? Thank you. All right, you're welcome. All right, and our next athlete of the week is Lily McCullough. Lily, come on over and have a seat. Hi. Sorry, hi. I'm always nervous on television, too, so it's okay, honey. We'll get through it together. All right. And Lily is here from the seventh grade gold volleyball team. All right. She's also an extremely consistent server. She has, Her serving sparked a seventh grade gold team to several victories lately. She's a great teammate. When she is not playing, she's always encouraging her teammates from the bench. Her work ethic is outstanding, and she's constantly striving to improve herself during practice. She has won the respect of her teammates through her hard work and dedication to the team. So congratulations to Lily McCullough. So Thank Lily, you. you're welcome. And there's your write-up, and there's your certificate. Okay, Thank congratulations. You. All right. Thank you for the Athletes of the Week. You guys have a great day. We'll see you later. Thanks, Mr. Harris. Great work, Piers. Next. <gasps> National Day. National Day. Day. <laughs> you know what time it is. Today is National Crush a Can Day. Huh? That's weird. Crush a Can Day. Yeah, I know. You know when you get so angry and you need to crush a can? I personally have never done that, but it sounds fun. Next up, birthdays. birthdays. <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy birthday to, wait, oh, we don't have any student or staff birthdays today. Now over to Mr. Harris. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your daily video announcements. Love seeing everybody out in their Decades gears, looking pretty spiffy out there. Hey, one thing I forgot, uh, I know we keep saying um, that we're going to have the football game here uh, at the high school. The football game tomorrow is actually here at the junior high. They changed that. So if anybody wants to come and teachers want to come and all that other stuff, the football game tomorrow, both 7th and 8th grade, will be here at Sycamore Junior High. So just making sure everybody knows that. All right. Math Club, today, uh, tomorrow, you're going to meet tomorrow after school from 3 to 4 in one, room 137, Mr. Miles' room, to take the first Math Mathness competition. All right, you got to go in the Google Classroom. That code is DFHUDN6. It's right here. Sign up in advance because they have some important directions on there for you to sign up to participate in that Math Madness competition. Got questions? See Mr. Miles. All right, also another club that's coming up is the PBL Design Thinking Innovation Club, all right? So if you like new ideas and innovative things and seeing how those things work out, that's the club for you. That Google Classroom code is right here, CK4ZJVS, and fill out an interest form. And sometime in early October, they will be organizing a meeting. If you got questions, see Mrs. Jarvis. And last but not least, uh, no, not last but not least, gotta stop saying that, all right? Yearbook Club needs photographers. They're going to meet tomorrow after school until 4 o'clock in room 246. So that's tomorrow, Wednesday, for Yearbook Club. Be sure to get a ride home from school at 4 o'clock. Um, join the Yearbook Club with the Google Classroom code of NUGQN52. Again, that's right here. Please join even if you can't go to that first meeting because they, they're going to uh, videotape that meeting and post it. All right. And we need a lot of students to take some pictures this year so Yearbook Club could be the place for you. And last but not least is Art Club. Art Club's first meeting is going to be on October 5th at, until 4 o'clock. 
If you can't make that meeting, don't worry. This is just an informational meeting, and, and uh, Mrs. Heron will share details with students who can't be there. If you're interested in getting involved, please join the Google Classroom code 7DTQZER right there, all right, for Art Club, or contact Mrs. Heron with any questions. That's it for me. You guys have a great day. Nice decade day. Tomorrow it's bands, favorite band shirts and stuff like that. So represent on those bands. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Harris. Now for the joke of the day. Why does Peter Pan never fly? I don't know. Why? He never lands. <laughs> no. Get it? Because, like, Peter Pan from Neverland. Y'all get it? Yeah. <laughs> and that's it for today's video announcements. See you tomorrow. Have a great day, Sycamore. And go in! Go in!